mission today. Don't sniff all the way through the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a fabric stash video but I do have a lot of fabric so please bear with me. Well it's not that much. I haven't gone like totally mad. I just got excited about autumn winter. <laughs> Can I just say before we start, I just want to thank everyone um, who s has subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it and since reaching 2,000 subs, every day it just keeps going up and up and up. So I'm really, really happy and it does mean a lot to me, so thank you very much. It's just nice to know that you like what I talk about because I just want to share things. And really, the only person I talk fabrics to is like my mum. <laughs> so it's nice that you're interested in what I'm doing and my ideas. So yeah, I just want to say thank you and keep subscribing because it does make me very happy. So firstly, um, I might have already mentioned that my friend, well my best friend is having a baby. She's due in January. So obviously excited fake auntie over here wants to make all the baby clothes. And luckily she's fine with that. So I've been buying a lot of baby jerseys. So if you're not interested in baby jerseys, then you might want to skip ahead a bit because I have bought quite a lot. Um, and I'm hoping that she doesn't watch this video actually because it might ruin some of the things I'm going to make. But never mind, I'm going to show you anyway. So first up is plain jerseys. Now I did go for all cotton jerseys so that they're all really, really soft. Um, so the first one is this like peppermint green colour, which I thought was really, really sweet. Um, I'm thinking I want to mix um, like patterns with planes on different outfits. So um, this will be either for cuffs or on leggings or little tops or I'm not sure yet, but got a peppermint green colour. Also, I should point out that we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So that's why I've sort of gone for like neutral colours. The second plain one is this really pretty, I want to say lemony yellow, but maybe it's a bit too bright to be a lemony yellow, I'm not sure. But I really, really like this colour and I think it's perfect um, for a neutral baby outfits. Um, and it's just really summery. I just thought it was such a pretty colour, so definitely get some yellow in there. Now, patterns. How cute is this? So it's an off-white cotton jersey with like scribbled black dots on it. Um, so it's super cute, super neutral and just like a nice modern um, baby fabric. I just really like this and all of these are so soft. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. The next one is super cute. It's again the same off-white colour with black details on it and it's this polka dot print with little bears with hats on all over it. I just thought it was so sweet. So I like this one as well. Basically this is just like the biggest excuse to buy cute fabrics. And the last one is a taupe pinstripe. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, but it's sort of a mix of a pattern and a plane. I liked the neutral colour of it, but I wanted a bit of detail in there. Um, and I thought this was really, really good. There is one more pattern jersey coming. All of these were from, from myfabrics.co.uk. They always have a really large range of jerseys and they also now have um, organic jerseys on there as well. Um, so that's really good. They are really good for things like that. And one of them, one of the pattern jerseys I ordered is on back order. So that should be here soon. Um, but again, neutral pattern. I think it's another teddy bear design. Um, but I'm sure I will show you that in another video. Um, so yeah, those are the jerseys I've got so far for the baby. And I'm really excited to have some spare time to start making things. Okay, the next item is a bit of a nemesis. I was very kindly gifted, because um, I do some blog posts and stuff for my fabrics. Um, they sent me some fabric um, to make something out of, um, which I'll show you in a bit. But basically they've got a new launch of their Marble Lake range, um, which is like um, really on-trend fabrics that you can then make really 
like on trend statement pieces for autumn winter um and some of the fabrics are incredible um i think like pleated skirts and jumpers and pencil leg trousers and things like that so one fabric that i've never got on with is velvet or like velour um mainly because i have i really struggle with like the feeling of it on my hands um and i know so many people love velvet and they love velour and they think it's so soft and so like elegant and sumptuous but I've never ever felt like that at all I think maybe my mum put me in too many velvet dresses when I was younger and I used to like it's like that feeling on your nails like I just don't like it at all and out of all of the fabrics they could have sent me they did send me velvet but I have had a look at it and I have touched it quite a few times it's a very very nice I don't know if it's velvet or velour actually one I'll just show it to you, I'll just show it to you. So, this is the colour. So it's a, a really beautiful dusky pink and it's such a pretty colour, I absolutely love the colour. Very autumn winter, um, it's just, I just, I, I do really love the colour. It is very soft, but it's that like, wait, ooh, yeah, that way. It's very soft, but when you stroke it the other way, I, I really hate that feeling. Now. I might as well just show you the pattern now. Basically the Marble Lake range is on-trend fabrics with on-trend sort of pieces. So they're teaming together all the new fabrics and giving you some pattern ideas to make statement pieces um, for the next season. So the one of the things, if you go on their website, you'll see basically what I'm gonna make. Um, but the pattern is the Birda Young 6660 um, pattern, which is this like bomber jacket. So I'm going to be making this style jacket, all, the whole thing will be in the um, velvet, the pink velvet, and then the bottom and the cuffs and the collar will be in a matching ribbing. Um, so you'll see, if you go on the my myfabrics.co.uk website and click on the Marble Lake range, you will see that the jacket made up, and it does look so pretty, um, so I'm hoping... I mean, I had a joke with my sister and she said that I should wear gloves while I sew with it, but I really, I think that's going to make it ten times worse. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know how I got on. <laughs> but it is gorgeous and I'm really happy with the colour of it. So thank you, my fabrics, anyway. I know I've been moaning about it, but thank you so much because I do really appreciate it and I am excited to see what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so the next fabric um, I got from Crafty Mastermind um, and it's this really lovely viscose rayon um i'm not sure if it's a cotton mix it might be cotton mix but it's in this really nice abstract pattern now i bought this um because i was pattern testing um for a company that they've got a new blouse coming out so i was making it in this for the test um test pattern um and it and i i am really pleased with it it's a really nice print just abstract paintbrush strokes really on this really again dusky, dusky pink colour um, just really pretty and I do really really like this so make sure you check out Crafty Mastermind if you want sort of different fashion -y fabrics to make stuff with now everything else I'm about to show you um, is from another crafts um, and these are the things that I'm going to be making future items of clothing for their blog for the blogger network so I haven't finished all my posts for sort of summertime yet. Um, so all these fabrics will be um, blogger network posts for autumn and winter. Um, so they are very autumnal, but I'm so excited about them. So the first one is this silver pleather. Look how gorgeous that is. It's the perfect shade of silver it's so soft you know how sometimes you get pleather and it's really like plasticky and horrible this feels like leather like i'm not joking it feels just like it um and i think i'm going to be making a skirt out of it so look out for that i'm really really excited about that next a boring fabric i'm afraid it's a gray pontaroma um, super soft, not too stretchy, easy to sew if you're new to sewing with jersey. Um, 
it's just a nice knit fabric that won't cause you too much stress and I'm thinking this will be nice as a dress for Christmas like a simple grey shift 60s dress I'm thinking um, but yeah super soft super easy to wear and I just thought it would be a nice nice girly piece that's still warm and cosy now I have this herring, I think it's called like herringbone coat fabric um, in this really pretty pink. So I'm going to use this as a lining for this fabric which is coat fabric, like another woven, really nice sort of open weave woven pink fabric. I think autumn winter is all going to be about dusky pink in my wardrobe. I've just realised that everything is like a shade of dusky pink. But how gorgeous is this? So I'm going to make a coat out of that with this on the inside. Let me just show you up close the texture of this. Just a really nice, slightly detailed woven coat lining. I'm sure you can make the outer coat in that as well, but I just got it for the lining. And then this, you'll see um, the texture of that. I'm just so excited about making this. Now, I've only bought one pattern because everything else I've sort of got, already got patterns for. So it will give it away. But the pattern that I bought for making the coat out of is the Papercut Sephora Coat. I just cannot wait to make this. Honestly, I'm gonna be raving about this for so long. I've already had a look at the pattern. It looks so straightforward. I'm really, really happy with it. And can we just appreciate how nice? I'm a big fan of indie patterns anyway, but this packaging, I mean, come on. And then, let me just show you. This is like a opening, opening video. So it's got like a little lip and then it opens like this. And then inside is the pattern that then sort of like folds out. So it's the instructions and the pattern pieces all on one. I just, I just love it. And it's all recycled materials and it's eco-friendly. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super happy with that. So the only patterns really this month that I've got is the paper cut patterns, Sephora coat, and the bird of tracksuit jacket to make um, with the marble lake fabrics. So I haven't brought many patterns, but bought lots of fabric. Something funny's just happened. I just finished uploading all the content onto my computer for editing, and the delivery man came and delivered the last fabric from um, my friend's baby. So I just thought I'd show it to you now so you've seen it. Um, so it's this cute, um, bear jersey look. Ignore the banging by the way, um, we're having some shells put in. How cute, I just absolutely love it. So I'm really happy this has arrived, I just found it funny how I said, oh it's coming. Oh look, there's pandas on it. Oh there's little hidden pandas in it. Oh my god, I love this fabric even more now. Okay, so. I just thought I'd show you before I finish the video off, but... Yee! So that's it for this week's video, although you have got another extra video coming this week, um, which I'm hoping to do like a lesson video on, so I'm excited about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at the fabrics I bought recently. Um, oh, I should point out that the pattern, this um, paper cut pattern I bought from Fabric Godmother, um, they just got a delivery in of all of them, um, so you don't have to have them shipped from New Zealand. Because I was just really worried that um, the tax, when it arrived, would be really expensive. So I got it from Fabric Godmother. Luckily they're in the UK, and it arrived really, really quickly, so thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to get started on stuff now. I've just been so busy with preparation for the Handmade Fair. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do because it will make my day. If you like any of the fabrics that I've mentioned, I'll try and put all the links in the description below. Um, I'll do my best. I'll try and find them. I'm just super excited to start making autumn winter things now. I know that sounds really bad, but the rain's coming in now. 
and I just want to wear big cosy jumpers and coats. So yeah, I will see you later on the week for another video. Happy handmade everyone!